Okay, hi, Sandra. Hi, how are you, Sandra? <laughs> I'm good, it's so fun to talk to another Sandra. So <laughs> thanks for, um, you know, talking to me today. Well, thank you for having me. I'm so, very honored. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm excited. You've done some really beautiful work. So um, why don't you start by telling us a little about you and about your business and what kind of work you do? Um, okay, so I am in a uh, portrait photography business. I was a wedding photographer. So in the photography field, I have been for about 11 years. Just recently, I switched over to portraiture. And, um, and this year, I'm niching just doing family photography. So. Well, that's exciting. And you have a studio or do you work out of your home or, or what's your situation? So I used to be on location. I used to be, um, you know, just like everybody else. Um, I work from home and I had a home studio um, and that became a little bit harder to do. Um, one is harder to put your actual home address on Google map. So mm. I don't want to be doing that. Um, so I did um, a, a, attain a, uh, a retail studio um, in uh, early of this year. So I'm pretty new to that community. Um, so it's just been the beginning of the year. So well, that's exciting. Yes, and so you recently joined my class, The Missing Link, and I know you had a lot of questions and a lot of concerns before joining because we texted and we talked back and forth for a while. So what were some of your, okay, so first of all, let me ask this. So what made you feel like maybe this was the class for you? And then what were the major concerns that you had that kind of prompted you to reach out and ask some questions? Okay, so just a little bit background. I have stalked you so oh. uh, <laughs> for a long time, um, and you've been an inspiration for a oh. long time. And I just never got a chance to be brave enough to do it um, because I follow what uh, everybody else was doing, you mm -hmm. know. And um, it got to a point where it became harder and harder because I wasn't uh, standing out. I was not, um, and I knew that I have the ability to do so. But, you know, the confidence level and all that stuff. So I found you through uh, Creative Live. Mm -hmm. And um, one thing, I, when I find a mentor, um, someone I like to listen to, and I, you have beautiful voice. So, and what you say, it's so easy to, to digest and it's so easy to, to understand it. Um, because you break it down really simply. You don't go to a lot of technical details about the, the inverse uh, law or yeah. All that stuff is like, yeah. oh my God, it's like that people do that and I couldn't understand it. So my problem was that, um, well, not really my problem. It's more of like, I like being in st uh, studio. I like to be in the air conditioned room. Yeah. Like, yeah. In Los Angeles area. So we do get, I mean, right now outside, it's literally going to reach 90 degrees and we're yeah. no middle of November. Yeah. So, um, what I have found is that a um, lot of times when we go outdoors, um, people put on sunscreens and that creates a little shine and then you get dirty, you know, because kids like to run around and it just becomes uh, harder to contain, uh, especially kids. Mm -hmm. So what I have found in the past three years doing portraiture in, in, this, in the control environment, it's much easier. You play some music mm -hmm. and nice environment. And uh, so that's what I thought. Um, I want to bring in artificial light. And uh, what I found my problem was that my studio has great, beautiful, huge northern light exposure. Mm -hmm. um, and everybody thinks it's gorgeous. I paint it all white. It's like a nice little 500 square feet of white box. But um, it gets soft and muddy especially when you're shooting back lid. Um, and also it's a little bit more like, um, looks like everybody else's in a way. So I want to create something that's different. So that's the reason why I, I uh, went and signed up on your, for your missing link. And I, when I, after I found out about you, about the, you know, and then the creative light, and then you were offering this course, I'm like, yeah, no brainer. I got it. Hey. Oh, I love that. So did you have any concerns before purchasing the course that made you think, God, maybe this wasn't for me or I'm nervous about it or anything like that? I knew it was for me. Uh, so that, that's definitely not a question. Um, my thing is um, I procrastinate. <laughs> when it's something new, I go down the, I, I, 
everybody has been telling me that oh, I overthink. Right. Uh, a lot of us do. A lot of us. I don't think there's a, there's, that's not really a, a negative thing. It's like, to me, no. I like to do a lot of research. I like to find out more and learn about more because I'm kind of careful that way. Um, it, you know, investing in uh, new equipment, artificial lights, it's not small num. you know, it's not small money. Yeah. Right. And so I'm very careful what I invest in and if I can even do it. So when I see, think about your techniques and what you're teaching, and then I translate in my mind, how would I change it into down to the end products? Because ultimately it's what um, I want to create for my clients mm -hmm. is to have something on the wall. That's also this, you know, this year is focused on wall art. So I wanted to know just li every single little thing Thing. That's why I close a lot of questions. <laughs> oh, that's good. I think that's good. And as you know, me as a teacher, I sometimes come in and challenge you, don't I? <laughs> you have to do it. You just do it. And then you did it. You had like great success. <laughs> well, I had a, um, um, thank you so much for kicking my behind, you know? <laughs> I need it. And also the group is great that you create this private group and being able to open up and share confidentially um, and feels feels great because having that collaboration and believe it or not in Los Angeles there's really not a lot of photographers want to share yeah. uh, information they feel it's a competition and which is something that I hope to change in my own community mm -hmm. um, so I create a little network of people too and I have photographer in there to work with you know to kind of in this group but I like that whole collaboration. I like that I post something and I know it's going to be sound like dumb question, but no one treated me that way. Well, so. there's no dumb questions when you're learning things. So how do you feel? Oh, sorry. What was that? I love learning. <laughs> I do too. I do too. So how do you feel that like, cause your, your work, I mean, you did it when you finally sat down and did it, it was beautiful. So how do you see like this skill base, um, changing your business. Okay. So, um, I am, I am thinking about adding an exquisite, I don't even, I, I can't even say the word because it's just so nerve wracking you know, to yeah. say something like that. But, um, uh, with, with something like that, I'm thinking about doing painterly. So I start exploring, yeah. um, digital painting mm -hmm. and, um, and, and then that's the next step is to, oh, you know, how I would use some, like the image that you saw, you know, of my daughter that I use yeah. her often as my model. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It out. But I, I painted that and um, I'm going to print it out on the canvas and then try to apply some other real print to print out. And I want to see how it's going to go. And I, I really feel that it will proceed very well. I am in, my studio is in a environment, uh, in a community that's highly, family oriented. Mm -hmm. um, I did some research, market research as well too. And uh, I think it's something that they haven't seen in this community and surrounding area. And that would be, I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm excited saying. about that too. You know, I've been in business for 20 years now. And when I teach business and when I speak about it, that's the one thing I always say is like really to, to really make it in this industry, you have to figure out what you do, like what that individual thing is, like your unique signature in the genre, like your point of view and what you do, and then just be brave enough to lean into it. You have to do it well, which you do, and you have to do it, be able to do it consistently. And I think that's the lighting piece, you know, is when you can, when you have a vision and now you know you have the formula and you know how easy it is to just recreate it consistently, that's going to build a brand and it's going to build a trustworthy brand that your clients are going to feel confident in, which is only going to help your business and your profits. Well, that also another thing is that, you know, what's great about your class, The Missing Link, is that you not only included the lighting um, aspect, but you also included the branding side, which is a lot of people. And, you know, for 11 years, I mean, photographer never thought about branding. And what you taught in those um, the, the modules uh, for the branding side, it really honed in to what a lot of photographers are missing. Yeah. They're not thinking about that. Um, yeah. So it got me, 
it got me, um, I'm, I'm using this time to like before 2020 to plan out my marketing strategy. Good for you. Some of the techniques that you, you know, just the mindset. It's all about the mindset. Mm -hmm. So I find that um, what you said it really clicked and kind of start the gear because I, like I said, I, I procrastinate quite a bit. <laughs> so I think you put something there and start moving again. Yes. Good. Well, I'm so excited for you and I can't wait for, to see where you go. I'm going to keep keeping my eye on you because I watch all my students. <laughs> um, but thank you. So one last question and then I'll let you get on with your day. Um, if, if you were able to talk to somebody who was considering purchasing the missing link, but was feeling concerned about it or not quite sure if it's right for them, what would you say to them? Okay, so I would be more I would be saying that what are you concerned about? If you're concerned about understanding how to run a business, and like I mentioned, um, running the business, you know, first of all, you really do have to understand what you do, what makes you unique, mm -hmm. and I think you know your program will help guide that person. Um, and everything else is more technique. You know, you got to understand what you who you are and what you do that's different than everybody else's. And I think. That, that's what you, you talked about. I think you focus on that, like I mentioned, a lot on creative live. And you also mentioned quite a bit, and which is very different. The, the two programs from creative live and Missing League is a little bit different. But, yeah. but I think that, I think I like them Missing League because you have the ability to download the app and you listen over and over the module. And, and then you have community too. And you yeah. have me because you can ask me questions. <laughs> and do that in creative life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So, um, and there's no dumb question, like you said, you can ask whatever you want yeah. and then you don't get mad. <laughs> you don't get, you don't get annoyed by me. <laughs> I guess so oh, that is all. I love it. So yeah, that's what I would recommend. It's like, um, I would say, you know, do it. I would say you want to do it because you wanted to elevate your business. You wanted to stand out. You want to understand what, what is it that she teaches you that will actually makes you think about your business and then move forward from that. So if you're stuck um, and you feel like it's been mundane and the things are starting to feel like everybody else is competing with you and you feel like you're, you're pricing with, you start wondering about like what you do mm -hmm. straight up with your program. And that's, that's when you're going to move forward. And yeah, yeah, it may not happen right away. Like it didn't happen with me right away. <laughs> But he did. It so. just took you a couple of weeks, please. But you know what's exciting too is like, I love that you get that because yeah, I teach lighting and that's a technical skill, but I'm passionate about teaching lighting because what I know is that it's more than just lighting. It really is. It's like the one little piece that brings that consistency in that's going to help you build your brand, um, right. which is like why I'm so passionate about it. So I love that you've gotten that out of the course. And I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you. Yeah. So thank you for talking to me today. I'm just going to stop recording. It was so fun. Um, and I wish you all the best. I can't wait to see what you do. Thank you so much. All right. Bye. Bye.